Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and I welcome you all to Simplified Coding. In this video, we are going to learn a bunch of different things. So this is our last project where we are displaying our movies list in the main activity. But in this video, I will change it and I will display the movies list or our recycler view inside a fragment. You might ask why fragment? This is because in this video, I am going to tell you about the Android navigation architecture component. And this patterns recommends that we should have only a single activity. And for all the screens in our application, we should use fragments. Now this is not at all compulsory that you have to follow this pattern. You can have different activities in your applications as well. But for now, as I'm going to use navigation architecture component, I will be using this pattern. Enough talking friends, now let's get our hands into Android Studio. But before starting, I have a little request. If my content helps you, then please share this video with your friends and tell them to subscribe to my channel. I will be very very grateful to you for this favor. So this is our last project and right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 classes. And as we will move ahead, the number of classes or the files, the Kotlin files are going to be increased. So it is very important to organize our files inside packages for a better management. So first I will organize all the files. So I will create a package named network, one more package named UI. And I need one more named models. I will put main activity inside UI and I will do the refactor. I will put movie inside models and I will do the refactor. And I will put movies adapter as well inside UI and movies API inside network. And inside UI, I will create one more package and I will name it fragments. So we have models, networks, UI, fragments. Inside fragment, I will create a fragment. As I told you, I am going to display the current or our existing list, that is the movies list inside a fragment. So we are going to create a fragment that is new and fragment. But this time I will select fragment with view model. Maybe you already know about view model, but if you don't know about it, then don't worry. For now, forget about this view model because in this video, I'll not be using view model. Uh, I will use this view model in the next video and I will tell you about view model as well. But for now, let's assume this is only a simple class that is created with your fragment. So this is our fragment name and I will name it to movies fragment. This is the layout file that will be generated for our fragment. And this is the view model name that will be created. And it is again a simple cotton class and you do not need to know about it in this video because I'm not going to use it. So don't get confused. Now finish. And we have our fragment and view model. So go inside fragment because this thing is not going to be used in this video. Now, this is our fragment and it has some code by default. Now you do not need to worry about these things. The first thing that we will do is we will go to movies fragment, the layout file that is generated for this fragment. And what I will do, I will put the content of main activity inside fragment layout. So go to res layout activity main and I will cut this thing from here. So cut it, go to movies fragment and I'll be using a relative layout here as well. And I will delete this text to you and I will paste the thing that I cut from the main activity. Now this is our recycler view and this is the swipe refresh layout that we were using in the last video. Now one more thing I will tell you in this video. If you want to preview your recycler view in XML, you can use tools list item and you can define at the rate layout and your list item which is 
movies uh, layout movie so this is our list item and you can see we have a nice preview of our recycler view so that's it for the fragment layout now as we are going to use navigation to display this fragment we need to add the navigation in our project and to do this you need to go here and you need to copy this thing from here the link of this page is given in the description of this video and you can also get the source code from the link that is given that is the link of the github repository of this project so i will copy it and you can see it is written for kotlin we have to use hyphen ktx so i will use the same because we are using kotlin so inside build.gradle which is app level build.gradle file inside dependencies block i will paste the lines that i copied so i will remove these comments and i have to put hyphen ktx for kotlin so i will put hyphen ktx and hyphen ktx here as well and we have some warnings here so let's update the versions to get rid of these warnings and i am doing it with the help of alt enter so you can do the same yeah that's enough now go back and we need to add this line into our root level build.gradle file so i will go to our project level build.gradle file and here i will paste it and then i will apply the kotlin plugin for safe arguments I will tell you later what is this but for now we need to add it inside our app level build.gradle and then we need to sync our project so the project is synced guys now I will go to main activity and I will cut everything from here uh, I forget to cut these codes we have to do it so i will cut these two methods which are show movies and fetch movies fetch movies is downloading the movie data from the api and show movies is displaying the movie in the api and this we coded in last videos so i will cut these two methods and i will paste it inside movies fragment and let's paste it here and you need to import refresh layout press alt enter and do it and instead of application context this time we will use activity and instead of this we will use activity here as well so i think everything is good inside movies fragment now come back to main activity and cut these lines as well and that is inside on create and paste it inside movies fragment and i will do it inside on activity created function so paste it and the fragment is ready now come back to main activity and go to activity main.xml and here i will create a fragment and this fragment is the navigation host fragment or you can say that this fragment will display all our screen and it is a nav host fragment as we are using the navigation architecture component so i will make it match parent and match parent so this is our fragment but as it is a navigation host fragment we need to define it as a nav host fragment and for this we need to use the name property and here i will define it is android x navigation fragment and then nav host fragment so this is our nav host fragment now i will give this fragment an id as well which is nav host or you can give whatever id you want and one more thing we need to define as the navigation graph that we will use for this navigation host so first we need to define a navigation graph or we need to create a navigation graph inside our resource directory so right click on rest directory go to new and select an android resource file 
you can give the file name anything for this case I'm giving the name nav underscore craft but in the resource type you have to select navigation because you are creating a navigation craft so hit ok and we have a navigation graph now go to activity underscore main dot xml and we will also define that this fragment or our nav host is the default nav host so we will define default nav host equals to true and we also need to define the nav graph that we created for this navigation host so we will do it by using app nav graph and we will set it to navigation and nav graph so this navigation graph is set to this nav host fragment now uh, go to your navigation graph and you can use the design view of your navigation graph and here we can click on this button to add our fragment into our navigation so this is the fragment and now it is added into our navigation graph you can see this is the label for the fragment and this is the id for this fragment now everything is done for now and if you will run your application it will work so let's try running it So you can see guys it is working our application is working fine and it is displaying the list of movies as you can see and it is the same as before but this time the list is being displayed on a fragment and not on our activity. So that's all for this video friends I hope you found it helpful. And if you really did, then please hit on that like button because this motivates me to create more and more content for you. And in the next video, we will learn about view model and many other things. So thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.